Holly, we're about to go hot air ballooning. Can I'm you believe it? I'm a bit nervous, actually. You know, back in the days when horses and carts were the only way to travel on the ground, hot air ballooning was the only way you could fly above the earth. That's exactly right. So set your alarm for 3 a.m. and pack yourself a jumper because we are about to take you on a balloon sunrise adventure right here in the Avon Valley. And I'm a little bit scared, but I'm so looking forward to it. Don't push me out. No, I won't. Before the sun peaks over the horizon, before the birds welcome the day with song, preparations are already beginning for our balloon sunrise flight in Northern, about an hour outside of Perth. And trust me, I'm not a morning person. All balloon sunrise flights take off at dawn when the winds are calmest and the views are the most spectacular. But luckily for slow starters like Aaron, there's free tea and coffee here at our meeting point. But don't drink too much because once you're up in there, there is no going to the toilet. After a short bus ride to the launch site, it was time to inflate the balloons and it really is a sight to behold. They even get the passengers to help out. Huge fans pump air into what look like massive sleeping bags until we're ready for liftoff. This really is the most surreal experience ever. It's so peaceful and still up here. All you can hear is the sound of the burners helping us to take off. My heart beating as well, but once you're actually up here, it's amazing. You don't even know what's happening. You just keep rising and floating around. It's incredible. And then just like that, we burst through the clouds and suddenly the beautiful Avon Valley was laid out below us like a miniature toy landscape. And because you're actually traveling at the same speed as the wind, it's not cold at all. This really is the most tranquil and relaxing form of transport. Most balloon sunrise flights last between 45 minutes to an hour, but honestly, time has just flown up here. It has, Holly, but the best thing is, if you go up in a balloon and your flight lasts less than 30 minutes, it's absolutely free. Can't believe how high we are. It's pretty high. <laughs> There's plenty of time to take photos and drink in the amazing view while you float along at the mercy of the wind. The experienced pilots can even take you down to ground level where you cruise along only inches above the ground. Mark, you've been doing this for many years. Why do you think people enjoy ballooning so much? I think it's because you're, you're uh, not in an aeroplane where you've got all the, the banking and the turning, you're floating, you feel like you're actually floating out in the open and it's just so serene, it's just beautiful, very peaceful. Once you've landed, everyone gets involved with helping to deflate and pack away the balloon, which is a big job, before heading to the most important stop, breakfast. The breakfast is all included in the package, but not only do you get a beautiful cooked meal, you also get presented with your very own flight certificate. Look at that. If you're looking for a completely unique experience that you'll remember for the rest of your life, then book yourself a balloon sunrise flight today. They operate in the Avon Valley, the Gold Coast and the Yarra Valley in Victoria where you can even take a flight over Melbourne City. If you guys would like to experience what Aaron and I did today and rise above the ordinary, then give the guys at Balloon Sunrise a call on 1800 Hot Air. Or go to zoomtv.com.au and follow the links.